Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Russian join. The Russian join is a method for joining two yarns together. Now normally I use the magic knot, however with a slippery yarn or a finer yarn sometimes the magic knot is not what you want. It can leave a little tiny bump in your work and as I mentioned with slippery yarns forget it, it doesn't hold. So this is where the Russian join comes in. The Russian join is super secure and very, very simple to do. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you now. So with your two ends of yarn, I've got gold in one hand and pink in the other. I'm simply going to loop them around each other like that. And then I'm going to give myself quite a long bit of tail on both sides. Then thread the pink, this tail, onto your needle. Now with that gold still looped around it, I'm going to be running my needle back along this pink strand. Now as you do it, you want to get in this pink strand and you want to split it as much as possible and get your needle to ideally go through the center. So make sure that gold is still looped back there and come right in to this pink strand and work the needle along and through. So you can see I'm trying to go through the center of this yarn as much as possible. Now, once you've gone through a couple of little ins and outs of like sort of a centimeter or so, you can bring this through, pull it tight and that will secure that gold so you can let that one drop. Then just keep running your needle through this pink strand for as long as your tail is. Just keep going. Just in and out and try and keep it as inside the yarn as possible. Pull it through. Don't worry if it's all scrunched up, that's absolutely fine. You can see mine's all scrunched up at the end there. Don't worry about that. Just keep going. Now I'm going to take my needle off. So with it all scrunched up, don't worry about that. Pull it through. So you can pull the tail or you can pull the yarn attached and that should bring it all back through. You've got your little tail here. Smooth it all down. And you can see that it's woven all the way through that yarn. And this tiny little tail poking out the end, you can snip that one off. These slippery yarns are a nightmare. <laughs> this is the only join that works for them. So you've got the pink side done and now we're going to do exactly the same with the gold. Now the only thing you need to watch for with this second strand is once I've threaded it onto my needle, is when you are going back down this gold strand, you want to try and put your needle in as close to this join as possible. So I'm literally going in as close as I can to that pink overlap there. And then just as before, run your needle down the length of that yarn. So I said, don't worry if it scrunches up.
Then once you're happy, you can remove your needle. And if it's all scrunched up like that, pull the tails and they will stretch out again. And you can see here, this join is really solid. I am pulling on this with a lot of force and it is not going anywhere. Trim that end. And you have your two yarns joined very securely, very tightly. And as I say, if you're working with slippery yarns or a yarn a bit like this one, shiny, slippery, the magic knot is not going to work for this one. It's going to slide undone. So this is where the Russian join comes in and it's absolutely ace. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the Russian join. Is it new to you or is it one that you regularly use? I do love hearing from you. So definitely drop your comments down below. So until next time, happy Russian joining. Bye.